Steel Bonder. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with another retro review. This time we're actually diving into the world of Beetleborgs, hoping to check more of these things out because I've recently dug into my old collection. So we'll see what you guys think if you like these videos. I also hope you enjoyed my super cheesy intro that I somehow couldn't resist doing. But anyway, this is a review for the original Beetle Bonder from Big Bad Beetleborgs, the first season, representing the transformation device for, you know, the red, blue, and green Beetleborgs, the, was it, Striker, Hunter, and Stinger Beetleborgs? Anyway. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Right now I have it in the, the mode for blue, was it Striker Borg? Blue Striker? I'm, uh, I'm an expert, guys. I'm an expert reviewer who knows all the names. Also, this is going to have a little bit of wear because I've owned this since it came out when I was little, so just bear with me. So if you get yours, the condition may vary depending on the condition where you buy it from, you know, who knows? You can find a new Inbox one for all I know on eBay. But yeah, look-wise, I actually think it did a pretty good job. It's really funny because, like, looking at it now objectively as an adult, this isn't the coolest design, but I always thought it was kind of neat when I was a kid. Um, but in terms of show accuracy, it's not bad, and it's honestly not too bad of a size. This is one of the rare items that I can actually remember it feeling a little bit bigger when I was little and feeling more like the show in that sense compared to I always mentioned like Power Rangers roleplay toys you know always felt small even when I was a kid but even now as an adult this is a pretty solid size uh, for like a transformation device and I think it looks pretty show accurate they have a really nice silver paint here that's not like a dull gray it actually kind of shines a little bit the camera actually makes it even look a little bit better than it does in person but yeah I think it captures the look of the show pretty well um, this like I said is in the mode for blue which is this little like horn right here for Hercules beetle the way you switch it is back here just pull these up and then here you get it for uh, I think it was red striker no blue Red Stinger Borg? Blue Striker Borg, Red Stinger? That's what I'm going to say for this review. But yeah, that's Reds right there. You switch it like that. And where are, where are Hunter Borgs? Boom! Ranger Reality Show. No, but there is Hunters, which is really cool. Really cool way to have all three on there. And then I believe White Blaster Beetle Borgs. You can't do it. Just spoiler alert. The White Blaster Beetle Borg. It was basically like this with the horns cut off, if I recall. So you could maybe buy one and customize it. I remember when I was younger, always looking for one in the store. It's really funny thinking back to those days back before there was like a lot of information that you could get. Like I could look up now, like, oh yeah, there's no White Blaster Beetle Borg one. You could also do this one, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's how you do that. It also included little figures. Honestly, I can't remember if it included all three or just one, but I do have figures for um, blue right here. Um, they're actually pretty surprisingly well painted, like, and they have little bits of articulation because these figures were also included in the little AVs or BVs. I don't remember which one is which, but yeah, I have red and blue here. I feel like part of me wants to say it only came with one, but also part of me wants to say it came with all three, but I have these two here and I have duplicates of them because I do have a couple of AVs, but we might get to those reviews later. We'll see how this review turns out, but the reason you have it is let's go ahead and let's put it back in blue mode, shall we? is when you open this up, you have to focus the camera. There we go. And oh my god, look at that amazing lights. But there's like a little little area in here to put your Beetleborg. And he just, he fits in there nicely. It actually fits in there snugly. And you know, that'll light up. And as you can see, this large rectangular button here, which is actually a nice and shiny button, um, opens up the wings and you get the lights there. But you can also press this tiny little square button next to it to just have it light up from the inside. I don't think this had sounds. Part of me remembers it having sounds, but it could be my imagination, excuse me, could be my imagination, but this is all mine does for now. So this is all you gonna get. But yeah, so you can light it up from closed or open, which I guess is kind of neat. Now let's do it with red because it does absolutely nothing. It's not like the toys of modern guys where you have different sounds for everything and you gotta buy DLC packs for more basically physical DLC, ranger keys, all that. These were the original ranger keys. They did it before it was cool. But yeah, and it's really funny because I didn't know this till years later, but this mechanism here with like the little guy in it is from B Fighter, where the show's source footage comes from. I always remembered like being little and thinking, this is kind of a neat inclusion, but it makes no sense for the way they transform in the show. Because in the show, they literally just call for the Beetle Bonder and then hold it up, and then they're like, Beetle Box, and then like you get like the comic stuff. But anyway, this is overall just kind of a neat retro toy. It's not the most like, oh my god, you need this, it's so feature rich and has all the sounds and flabber comes out of it and plays with you. That sounded weird. But it's a pretty show accurate representation. It's a neat like collectible if you're an old Beetleborgs fan. I can definitely recommend it if you want to hunt down something from that. It makes a good display piece or cosplay or whatever. It's, it's solid for what it is for the time, but certainly not the most feature rich thing. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can see all my retro reviews and other crazy videos. Till next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.